Yeah, balls. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Balls. Hey guys, this is my review for episode four of Supernatural season six, Weekend at Bobby's. This is hands down probably the best episode we're gonna watch this entire season. We have Jensen Ackles directing his first ever episode. They even had a little documentary about it on the DVD bonus features about how much detail, how much work, and how much dedication he put into directing this episode. He was very, very serious about it. This also has a fantastic blend of the humor, the witticism, and the action and horror that we're used to with this series. And at the same time, it's also a very well-written, but also very accessible filler episode. It's written by Dab and Laughlin, and it is still one of their bangers. It is probably the best episode that we're gonna get in the latter half after season five from these guys because this episode just has a lot of the akinness that we were used to from the first season in terms of it being a filler episode but it still has a lot of little notes to the actual story of what's going on with the season and that's pretty good to say considering they really had no idea what was going on i have no idea what's going on now if the production schedule goes as how i believe it would be because that was what happened with the other episodes that Jensen would direct later on in the show is that this would be the first ones. Really all they had was that monsters were coming back and Bobby does make a reference to that with the weird Japanese monster that Rufus fails to kill and then eventually Bobby has to kill by putting through the wood chipper which by the way is just a freaking fantastic kill in this show and at the same time Dean and Sam are having their issues with each other and Bobby just gives them an earful which they and then part help him try to get his soul back from Crowley who is still being an asshole about it and in the end they not only find his son but they also dig up Crowley's bones there's a little bit of a hidden lure into what Bobby is doing to the demon the crossroads demon at the beginning of the episode by burning something in a pit for me it was immediately like oh yeah it's his bones but i guess at the time i didn't really realize what they were doing and part of me does kind of wonder well how on earth were people who were like burned alive at certain elements become demons mm, there's a little bit of a stretch with that when you really 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 think about it but considering the show was still only six years into its infancy i have to make sure to cut off everything that happens later on in the show and just keep the lore going as i am receiving it because I know I'm going to get really messed up, especially when it comes to Castiel's powers. That's going to go up and fucking down, I know, in the next five seasons. But Weekend at Bobby's isn't just a great filler episode. It's a great in-between episode. It hits the marks with everything we've come to love from Supernatural, all the while still having story elements. And there's three story elements, technically speaking, in this episode. So the fact that it's able to weave them through all together really well, feel like it has enough time with each story, and not feel underappreciated, underused, or overused is a good feat, not only in terms of the writing, but also from Jensen directing his first episode. It has three ongoing stories that are fluid throughout each other. It has a lot of cameos of characters from the show. Then include the brothers act as a cameo in this episode because they are not the main characters. It is Bobby. Rufus is in here. Crowley's in here. Jody's in here. Everyone has a great inclusion to the story and everyone has a great purpose. And they're all just a delight to see in this episode. Considering we just had three episodes that were really like this, this episode comes as a very thankful breath of fresh air, even though it's going to get extinguished quite quick, if I'm correct. But either way, Weekend at Bobby's is a 7 out of 7 for me. I think this is the only 7 I'm going to give in this entire season. No. Wrong. Maybe it might be a little bit of a generous one, but I feel considering the first three episodes are just so mismatched, so mangled, this one just comes across so fluid that it has to be recognized for that. But now that I've said my piece about this episode, let's see what you guys have to say about this episode. Okay, we're going to try and zip through these as fast as possible. It's been a busy day for me. We get a Bobby. This is finally a great episode. I really enjoyed this episode. How it focuses on Bobby while he's trying to get his soul back from Crowley. We really liked Bobby's neighbor, Marcy. Love seeing Rufus and Jody in this episode. And yes, Rufus is unfortunately becoming sloppy as a hunter to me. Even though he does come through with uh, for Bobby by stealing the ring and swallowing it. Absolutely love seeing Bobby clap back at Dean and Sam. Yes, that is probably my favorite part of this episode as well. Jensen did a really great job uh, directing this episode. Yeah, for his first ever episode, 
also directing. It's pretty good. I actually really like the behind the scene features that's on this DVD box set about it. Whatever this episode that passes, I feel like the season finds more of its old ground. This episode cut quickly from one scene to the next and even from one character to the next. It felt choppy, but it allowed a lot of story to progress and a lot of the characters to interact over a short period of time. Weekend at Bobby's has the perfect supernatural blend of humor, drama, and gore. Obviously, the lack of Sam and Dean's appearances felt a little weird, but I feel more secure in this. This is the same supernatural as we progressed with further into the season. I actually have to say that even with their absences, it doesn't feel it. It feels like a normal episode because we're so enamored with Bobby and we're so connected to him. So I think it did that pretty well. If you were to convince me to keep watching the show after season five, Weekend at Bobby's was definitely one of these episodes. Honestly, just a man trying to get his soul back from a prick of a demon is a simple yet very effective. It concluded with some interesting demon lore and a hint that Crowley's past that we will uncomfortably become close to in the coming seasons. And also, wow, I had no idea that this was Jensen's first episode that he directed because this episode is a classic. Yes, it is. It put a lot of effort into this one. Guarantee this was the first episode that they shot of this season. And it's kind of why the last three have been like, bleh. Weekend at Bobby's is one of Jensen's best directed episodes in the entire show. Jensen wanted to do this since Kim Manners inspired him. It's refreshing for the show to focus on fixing a conflict that was left hanging at the end of season five. Fun fact, this is one of the few episodes where Sam and Dean are out of America. Needless to elaborate, this episode is my favorite, uh, second favorite Bobby-centric episode, full of heart humor and shows the unsung hero's father uh, that the Winchesters have had from season one to seven. Demons can be killed by burning their bones. We get new information on the character. Crowley has a son. It using reoccurring characters in an interesting and fun way that furthers the story. Bobby and Rufus are great together. I only wish we could get more of that during the show. Jody and Bobby have some great interactions as well. I love the neighbor next door. Hilarious, especially with the wood chipper Fargo homage with a blood spatter. It was a perfect mixture of gore and camp. Loved it. Overall, a great episode, and I enjoy rewatching it. I loved Weekend at Bobby's and every interaction he had. Back when Dab knew his place, focusing on established mythology and character. Very much so, Shannon. Weekend at Bobby's is probably one of the best episodes. Oh, you edited it. I loved it when it said West episodes. Either way, I still love the comment. Weekend, in my opinion, is one of the best episodes of the season. Great dialogue in an intense, almost Western-style showdown resolution between Crowley and Bobby. I love how, th after the intensity of the last season, this is the first episode where we feel like everyone can finally breathe normally, at least for a little while. That is true. Gotta be honest, Weekend of Bobby's is one of the most overrated episodes of the show. Just to clarify, it's not bad. However, for some reason, fans have taken an okay episode and turned into a masterpiece, like Chill Out, Watch Mojo, <laughs> having it as an honorable mention in your best episodes of the season. I feel the fact that it's a Bobby-focused episode, but ultimately it's a filler. Jensen's direction some isn't something to behold, and the story, for the most part, never becomes something more than passable. My biggest problem is, without a doubt, the writing, and I don't know how you do it. Andrew Dabb once again comes in and shows that he sucks. I said it before, I'm not a fan of the guy. And this episode is one of the biggest retcons ever created. He reduced demons to the biggest threat of the show into angry spirits. Any Now any demon can die simply from burning his bones. Yes, I know they were once human, but in season three it became clear that they were something more. I am sorry for how people are annoyed by this. I will have to say, you still have to find their bones. That's quite difficult for some. Um, but it does, more so my kind of question is, how would some, you know, be burned like what happens if some were killed in fires and whatnot and they became demons like but this can't be used for every one of them i did like the idea of it because it was so hard to find bobby's bones but i can understand where you're coming from jensen's directing is pretty good considering most times that directors or actors turn directors don't usually do a very decent well outing and it's a filler episode yes but it is a good filler episode it's like one of those classic good filler episodes in my opinion and the next episode is Oh my god. Live free or twy hard. Eat it, Twilight. Air date, October 22nd, 2010. I was a little bit ahead. In my last reviews, I think I mentioned 2011. I was wrong. 2010 was a weird time. That was over a decade ago. Inception came out this year. Whoa. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And as I said, give me your comments about the next episode in the comments below. And I'll read those off in the next review. Until then, see you guys next week.